Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. And today I'll be running through a tutorial on how you guys could set up custom vehicle shops in your QB Core 5M server. For that you'll need three things. Visual Studio Code, a 5M server in general, and of course QB Vehicle Shops. The links to those needs are will be in the description down below for the video. The only thing you'll really need is the QB Vehicle Shops uh, Visual Studios code you can download anywhere really on Google and your 5M server if you have one it should already be installed so all that good stuff but today I'm gonna set up a vehicle shop here at the docks I'm gonna make it for trucks so we're gonna set up a trucker vehicle shop right here in this area so we're gonna go from this end probably up to where that other trailer is we can run up here to the marker and just delete that trailer that spawned There we go. I probably will spawn again. But anyway, uh, it's going to be a fairly easy process if you really, really pay close attention. So what we're going to do is, what first you need to, thing you need to do is create poly zones. The poly zones do is simply uh, create the box in which the area of where the vehicles spawn at and where the dealership is. So you walk up to this corner here. Or wherever your vehicle shop will be at and you do forward slash pz creates and then you'll hit enter and it'll say zone type the required is poly uh we'll do truck dealership the one d too many there so once you got all that squared away at the name of the zone you do that a little bit of music in the background there just to kind of keep us sane so it'll start here I'll have to walk unfortunately then you do forward slash pz add See how it makes that green line, just like we did in our previous video with the mechanic shops. It's going to do the same thing here. So we're going to actually no clip to the other side. Make things a little bit faster. Obviously make sure that it lines up. And then easy add again. And then the last one will go at the other end. There you go. It creates a big green box where this will be at. Which is perfect. Then you'll do forward slash PZ finish. Just like that. And then the box will disappear and it'll create. So now what you'll wind up doing is you'll go back into your server box or your zap hosting, whichever you're using for your 5M server. And if you go into your configuration, mine's in current version on our dev server. It'll say polyzone created zones.txt. You're going to open up that document. It should be at the very bottom. For the most recent one you made, you're going to want all of this. You'll open Visual Studios Code. So we're going to take everything that's inside of here. From that purple comma all the way up to your last made one. You're going to copy it. You're going to go back down. Right where this says add your next line under this comma. Bam. Just like that. Perfect copy. And then you'll do the next one and so forth. You're going to name it to whatever you want. So we're going to call this one. Trucker dealership. 
you can mark it as managed or open so in our case you'd want it to man it be managed because it's going to be by a trucker job so we're going to get the zone which is this right here which is those vectors that we got so where, where it says poly zone create you're going to grab these the vector twos all the way to the bottom we're gonna really quickly uh, give this a little bit less noise here my apologies I wanted some in the background here so now you're gonna get those polys you're gonna copy them highlight right here remember start from the bottom so start from this comma all the way across and once it's highlighted blue, you're going to do Control V to paste. Boom shakalaka. Now you want the min Z, max Z, which is right underneath it. It's these numbers right here. I'm going to copy those. Same process. Only difference is you're going to get rid of those lines. You're going to tab them over. That's how it should look. I could be wrong. Yeah, so it's going to go right underneath this yellow comma. Right underneath it. Sometimes you got to move these things around a little bit to get them to where they need to be. Now they're perfectly lined up. The size could be the same as all the other ones, which is 2.75. That's just the vehicle zones. Now they, it's managed. You want it set up to the job in which is going to be allowed to access this dealership. So you're going to type trucker. Shop label. It could pretty much be whatever you want. Trucker dealership. It'll also be the blip name. Show the blip is true or false. It's up to you if you want it to show a blip or not. The sprite could be whatever you want. We can get we'll get to that in just a second. Blip color. You can go and look up blip colors for five on the 5M natives and get the numbers for these for the sprites and the colors. Test drive limit is usually like five minutes. So location of the blip will be a vector three. So in our case, we can put the blip right here. So you can do forward slash vector three. Wham. Go back. Location. Don't get the comma in there. Just leave it there. It's one less piece of work you need to do. And there you go. Your new vector is there. The return location is after you test drive it. So we could put it right here. It's vector three again, I do believe. Highlight it, copy it, paste it. Vehicle spawn is when after you test drive it, when you're gonna go test drive it. So for example, you could put it right here. Vector 3 again. You can copy that up into the... Oh! That could sometimes happen. Go up to that blue bracket. Wham. Test drive spawn. This is where it spawns where it's bought. So when you buy it, it's going to spawn at this vector. If you want to test drive spawn it, we're going to move... That's going to be a vector 4. So... We'll put it right over here so it's not in the way. So instead of a three, we want a four this time. And then, boom. That part's done. The hard part's over. 
So you can hit File, Save. So there here are the cords of where the showroom of the vehicles is going to show, which is all of the trucks, right? So we're going to open up our Trucker's Logistics config, and we're going to grab all the vehicles that we have available that could be bought. And we're going to add them to our vehicles.lua. Which will be in your QB folder, QB core, shared vehicles. You'll want to create a category at the bottom. So right underneath this guy right here. Green trucker dealership. And we're going to take all of these that we have here. Should we could just take one of these? Copy it. Bring it on down. And we're going to take one of these. So we're going to make our job easier, right? So we're going to take this. We're going to drag this over. And we're going to line it up right next to us. So now we have the vehicles names right next to us so all we have to do is copy the name man oh see see what happens when you do too much man and then the name would be man We're not going to mark it the same. This will be man TGX. <laughs> oh, excuse me. So if we go into game and we do slash car. It's a man truck, right? So the brand name would be man. The model will be the same as the name. Category. truck actually we'll put it as off-road reason being is because I don't think it'll pick up Actually, no, it would be commercial. So it would be commercial and then commercial. So category, category, label. So it would be commercial, commercial. And then the label always needs to be capitalized. Remember that. And then the hash, same as the name. Man. Shop. Trucker. Dealership. And then you just copy this entire line. Bring it on down. The price would be to 270000 
Next one is Daff. Daff F. So copy that. Bring it over to the name. The brand. So if you type Daff. The Daff truck. So the brand name would be Daff. Model Daff. Price three hundred thirty thousand. Daff again. Copy this. Move on to the next. Oops. T680. T680. The name. It's a Kenworth T680. Brand Kenworth. Because we already got the brand name, right? Model T680. Oh, shoot. Boom. T680. There's your model. Same here. T680. Move on to the next, which is a W900. Oops, because we copied that, so now we have to recopy it again. Remember, from one purple comma to the end of the purple bracket. If you do it before that, you're going to run into issues, and then the script is going to break. The vehicle script is going to break. That's what I meant to say. So you got W900. Name. Still a Kenworth. It's still the brand. It's just W900 now. So this one would be 600,000. These are just basically prices that are basically there by default, guys. I will adjust them in our 5M server, which I will talk about at the end of the video. And then W900 at the bottom. Remember those hashes have to be the same as the model and the name otherwise they won't display properly in your dealership. Our last one we're just going to do a handful of them it is a VNL 1780 sorry 780 so that one would be a Volvo which is my preference personally Volvo trucks I think are pretty decent they run nice brand Volvo we're gonna copy this just so it saves us some typing Fill in the blanks. Volvo's almost half a million dollars because it's a relatively nicer truck. There you go. It's complete. We don't have to add any other ones because, well, on our config, we already have ones that are already there. So, we're going to take these guys. copy them and we're going to set up coordinates so we're going to go back right up to the front here start here and we're going to use actually a truck to actually set these up so this 
this is exactly how they'd be set up. We do forward slash vector, which we already did, so we'll scroll up. Three. We'll copy it. Oh, actually, correction, it's a four. So always remember, vector four is the most used vector now. It's never three like it used to. ESX uses a lot of vector three. This is QB core. And then we'll put, we'll fill in the blanks as we go along. So, change this to man. Man. Def. Def. T680, T680. Do not add a comma at this bottom one. Leave it without a comma. You add a comma, you're going to run into errors in your live console about the line needing to close at a certain bracket. So always make sure that bottom one is always open. My fault. I tabbed out when I shouldn't have. <laughs> My apologies there. So you just keep filling it in. All the way. I'm doing this slowly so you guys can kind of get the concept. So we'll just add like basic ones here. So Packer. Packer. Um, Phantom. Remember, you do not need eight slots. You could always do that and save it and have seven. Give as many slots as you'd like. As long as they fit. So now we go back over. I'm going to do two spaces between each because they're very large vehicles. And the last thing you want is for them to be so scrunched together you can't see anything. This third number should always line up. So it should always be the same. So this number right here, they should all be the same. Otherwise, you'll see vehicles floating, and it's going to get very annoying. So we'll skip a space. Next. It also gives you that little bit of room to kind of be around the vehicles. To kind of go around each side of them, just to see how they look. You can check them out view them all that good stuff so now we go down to the next copy the vector four again you'll see it at the top It'll, your notification will tell you that the vector was copied these could always be adjusted they should always be the same. Next. And 
we got two more. They're not going to be evenly lined up. They're not going to be perfect. None of that stuff. Because you can't really... That would take hours to do. Which a lot of us don't really have time. Let me skip one more for the last one. That was only off by like a number. So we'll go back over to our vehicles.lua. MTL Packer commercial. We'll just put MTL. Model. Packer. Oh crap, we're putting the wrong stuff. Caps lock is on when it's off. That's kind of weird. Mark these to two fifty thousand. Commercial, commercial. Packer again, and done. Let me do our last one. Phantom. Phantom. Slash car phantom. Joe built phantom commercial. Brand is Joe built. And there you go. It's already set. We save all that. Now we make sure that everything works. We check, make sure our config looks good. We save it. Now We're going to restart our server, so we're going to go into our server console. TX admin. Restart. I'm going to open up Steam, because for some reason it wasn't reading my stuff. You guys get to see my desktop that's full of clutter <laughs> all of that's doing what it's doing steam is connecting to me right now
So if everything was done properly, we should be able to load back into our server without any issue. Resources is loading. So you log in as you normally would with a character. My crazy ass, I have like literally a bunch of them. We'll grab the one we were using. Last ping. Again, if it was done properly, I prefer it to be daytime so. this in at night time oops it should be here so the fact that it's not shows we did something wrong so we're gonna go have a look and see where we goofed up be at the very top where everything started right at the end ah see there's some white so that goes to show there's a close that's supposed to happen vehicle shop config in uh, let's see 154 Somewhere right here, so. That could have very well been it. Was there a comma at the very bottom? Config 514 bracket expected to close at line 505. So. Yeah, we may have solved it. We may not have. Sometimes it takes time because you have to actually figure out where you went wrong. So the easiest way to go about it, go to your live console, refresh, restart, QB vehicle shop. So now since we just restarted the script, all we have to do is load back in. The fact that it didn't spit out an error this time means that we were just missing that comma in that little spot. And sometimes like I tell, I said in my previous video, punctuation in a code is everything. The reason being is because one comma or bracket can destroy an entire line of, the entire code. You could have a thousand, two thousand lines of code and if you're missing a comma somewhere, it breaks the entire thing because it's breaking the code in half. And when it does that, it can't read it completely. So be very careful with your commas, guys. So our issue was, so let's go back and take a look. When you put in that min z max z, there was a comma missing at the end of this line on line 513, which it was saying something with 514 originally. So it was on line 500. 513 there was no comma but we added the comma and we saved it make sure you're saving 
your code every time that you save it because the second that you don't it's not going to take effect and changes aren't made now the f8 console isn't spitting thing anything out for me so there you go there's your trucks there's your truck dealership In order for you to actually view them, since it's locked by a job, you can't look at them. So, you would, you, you would go to the job center. In my case, I just do this, because I'm the developer. Type trucker, grade zero. And that's not my ID number. My ID number is two, so what I'm gonna wanna do is change that to a two. And then, you can physically walk around them, check them out. Like, ooh, I like this truck, right? Walk right up to it. Vehicle interaction. You can test drive it. So let's test. Server ID. Two. It's literally 30 seconds. So when you're done, go into the park, finish test drive. It returns it. These are all the different trucks that you guys can buy here. Now, I'm not 100% sure if it'll work that way with the trucking script. So, if you have the trucking script, the truck logistics one, which is like the American Truck Simulator script for 5M. I'm not 100% sure if you the per trucks you purchase here will work with that script. I'll have to do some research on that. But, I mainly did this just as in a, for the sake of the tutorial. To show you guys how to make your vehicle shops. But that's pretty much how you do it. As you guys saw, it's fairly simple as long as you understand what exactly what goes where and you follow the steps completely. If you have guys have any questions or concerns, leave a co comment in the comment section below or you guys can join my Discord. That will be the linked in the description as well. And you guys can check that out and ask as many questions as you'd like. I'm available on Discord. I have no issues helping you guys out. Let me know what you guys thought about this video in the comments below. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Ring the notification bell to stay notified of upcoming videos and streams. It would be greatly appreciated, guys. With that said, I hope this tutorial helps any of you out who are having issues setting up your own vehicle shops and your 5M server. And that... It makes your life a lot easier. It makes your server look a lot better. Again, if you have any questions, leave a comment in the comments below. Feel free to join my Discord to ask any questions you may have about how to do all this. But with that said, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we will see you all in the very next one. Take care, everybody.